In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Photoshop files in After Effects the right way. Hey there, my name is Cameron with Motion Science. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Photoshop files in After Effects. Now, a lot of people seem to think that it's a complicated process and will instead use PNG or TIFF files but I'm here to show you that it's actually better to use Photoshop and it's really simple. Let me show you how. All right, to start off, here we are in Photoshop and we've got three text layers, new, music, and wave, and then we have a background layer as well. And what I see happen a lot of times is layers will be turned off and we will go to file, export, quick export as PNG, and we save out individual PNG files like the background, and then we turn that off and we go to the wave effect. Same thing, file, export, quick export as PNG. We'll do music and we'll do new. Then over in After Effects, we have to select all four PNG files. And then once they're imported, we can drag them onto our timeline and we can see we've got the background, wave, music, and new. Now the problem with this is first off, we have to rearrange the layers. We have to get the composition set to the right size to match the PNG file and so on and so forth. And if we want to change something, we have to go back into Photoshop, find that layer and change things, re-export it and bring it back in After Effects. Now the smarter way to work is not to bring in PNG files, it is to bring in a Photoshop file. So how we do that, we double click in our project window to import, we find our PSD file and we go to import as composition retain layer sizes. Click open, then we get prompted with this window. I typically leave merge layer styles into footage. You can use editable layer styles if you want to change effects. Click OK. And now what's really cool is we have a folder with our layers, but we also have a composition here. And if I double click this composition, it is set to the correct size of the Photoshop file. So it's already set uh, to the correct aspect ratio, to the correct uh, pixel dimensions. And then we have our layers here all laid out in a nice orderly fashion. Now, what's really cool about this is let's say I want to change this word new. I can change this in one of three ways. The first way is to go up to edit, edit original. The second way is to right click, go to open, edit original. Or the easiest way for me on a Mac is to hit command E and it opens up the Photoshop file in Photoshop. And now what I can do is I can change this to let's say the word synth. I can hit Command S to save. I can jump back into After Effects and it's automatically updated with my new title on the same layer, right? I can do this with any layer. I can go uh, into music if I wanna change that, let's change it to the word track, save jump back into After Effects, you can see it's automatically updated. Uh, we can do this also with things like backgrounds. If for some reason uh, we wanted to change this background, let's say we add a hue saturation, let's change it to a green, something like this, click OK. Now Command S to save, jump back into After Effects and you can see it's automatically updated. And that my friends is how I work with Photoshop files inside of After Effects versus using PNG or TIFF files. I hope that you really enjoyed this lesson as much as I loved teaching it. So please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for you. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to this channel. It helps other people find this channel as well. If you're looking to upgrade your design skill set, master the art of style and execute like a pro, I have a course called Stylecraft that you can check out at motionscience.tv. You can also learn more about this course by clicking the link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Cameron and this is Motion Science.